Hello friends, if you are looking for SAP BCM training, then this is the right course for you. Let me walk you through what I'm going to cover in this course. First of all, I will give you a high level understanding about the BCM. What is the BCM? Why we need to use this BCM? What are the features, benefits, process we follow in the BCM? Then after that, we will start doing the configuration. And this configuration we will be doing with the help of a practice sheet prepared by me. I will also share that practice sheet with you so that you can also do the hands on. After that, we will start doing the unit testing and while doing the unit testing, we will, we will try to run multiple business scenarios and at the last we will be discussing the error which you may come across while doing the configuration or unit testing. We will be also discussing the interview question from the BCM standpoint. Now let's start. So what do you mean by the BCM in SAP? BCM stands for Bank Communication Management and it's a part of FSEM module. FSEM module like we know it is the financial supply chain management. This BCM is primarily used for managing the bank interfaces and through this we will be able to track the entire life cycle of a transaction. Transaction is your payment which you are sending to the bank and the statement which we will be getting from the bank. So it is helpful to set up a communication with the bank when we are going to send any kind of payment to the bank if it has been acknowledged by the by the bank and if we need acknowledgement from the bank if it has been processed or it has some exception and also we need the bank statement from the bank side. So if all these things are being done properly. So for this we can use the BCM for such kind of communication. Then BCM is also responsible for creation of the different different batches. So those payment we have processed through the automatic payment program that we can flow into the BCM and we can convert those payments according to the different different batches as per the configuration or the client requirement and those payment batches we can pass through the payment approval workflow. So in this we can create a different different level of approval. It may be first level, second level, third level approval. And once that payment batch has been approved by the final approver, then the payment media will be created and that payment file we will be able to send it to the bank. Without the BCM, we need to process the payment through the automatic payment program and we need to send it to the bank. Then the client has to log in into the bank web application and approve or reject those payment. So with this BCM, we will be able to shift that approval action from bank web application to our SAP system. What are the features we have in the BCM? First of all, through this BCM, we will be able to create the different different batches. All those payments we have under the different different payment run. So those we can get them converted into the payment batches. So those payments may be for your vendor customer, which you process through the F110 or the treasury payment request, which we have created through the F111 or we have the payroll expenses or travel expenses. So all these we can we can able to get them merged according to the different different batches. Then the next feature is approve payment. So once we have created those batches, so batch wise we will be able to get them approved. So we can have the first level, second level, final level approver. And then the next feature is payment status monitor. So in a BCM, we will be able to track each and every transaction. And if the transaction, what is the status of the transaction? If it has been First of all, if it has reached into the BCM, then it has reached to the first level approval, second level approval or final level approval. Once it has reached to the final level approval, then we will be able to generate the payment media file and that payment media file we will be able to send it to the bank and bank has acknowledged those payment if any kind of exception reported by the bank. So this kind of tracking we will be able to do it with the help of BCM in the system. Then we have the cross payment run media. So once we have reached to the final level of approval, then for that batch, we will be able to generate the payment media file and this payment media file output we may have in the XML or flat file, which we can send it to the bank. The way we can monitor the payment which we are sending to the bank, same way from the bank side, whatever the statement bank is giving to us so that we can also monitor and also we can monitor if we are getting those statement on time and if any kind of a difference is there. So, so for example, the balance we have for that bank in our SAP system, it is not matching with the balance we have in the bank statement. In that case also system is going to give us the red indicator. So this kind of monitoring we will be able to do it with the help of BCM in the system. 
then we can also define the alert in the system so for example if any payment is not acknowledged or acknowledgement has not been received in a particular interval so in that case system is going to trigger the alert so these are the features we have for the bcm then let's discuss the process so first of all the payment which we have processed through the automatic payment program that has to be there so those payment will flow with the help of this cross payment media we will be able to flow those payment into the bcm and once we have received in the bcm then we can merge those payment and this merging can be done based on the predefined configuration so once we have done the merging of payment then those payments need to go through the payment approval workflow so we can have the first level approval final level approval in the first level approval we have the option that we can approve the batch we can edit the batch we can reject the batch whereas in the final level approval we have only the option to approve or reject it so we can either approve the batch or reject it so we can't make the changes in the final level approval so once any payment has reached to the final level approval so we will be able to generate the payment media file and that payment media file we can have the output in the xml or the text file which we can send it to the bank and bank is going to acknowledge that file that has been received and if it has been processed or it has any, any kind or it has any kind of exception so that is going to be reported by the bank and that can also be monitored in the sap system with the help of bcm so what are the benefits we have of bcm if we want to have it for our client first of all it is going to reduce the manual effort and all those automatic payments we are processing so that can also be automated and also it is going to reduce the cycle time of payment processing so this is going to be a common in, so this bcm is going to play a common interface when we are processing the payment and when we are dealing with the multiple banks and all those payments we process through the different different payment run through the automatic payment program so those we will be able to get them converted into the batches so once we have created those payment batches we need to pass through the payment workflow so this payment workflow system will ensure that the payments are getting routed through a proper channel with the minimum manual efforts so once the payment batch has reached to the final approver and he is approving it so after that system is going to generate a payment media file so without the final author without the final authorization we will not be able to generate the payment media file so in nutshell those file which we are sending to the bank so all those payment would be approved so those payments would be approved by the designated authority then with the help of bcm we can set up a single point of reporting and this tool is going to give us the information about our payments so it is also showing a clear visibility to the stakeholders so these are the benefits we have of bcm then these are the steps we need to follow when we are doing the configuration the main area of sap bcm configurations are fbzp which is automatic pain program under that we will be doing the settings under the payment method in country payment method in company code bank determination and house bank then the next area is the payment medium format under that we will be having a dme tree and if you don't know about the dme then we have a course available on the udemy you can watch our sap fico dme course and the last and important area is bcm under that we will be creating the rule for merging of payments so that accordingly the batches will be created and then we will be maintaining the payment approval workflow under that we will be defining the first level and final level approver and then at the last we will be adding the signature digital signature through which your batch will be approved and system is going to generate the payment file and that we can send it to the bank so these are the steps which we are going to do while doing the hands on then in this slide i have listed down some of the important transaction code which we have in the bcm so all those payment which we have processed through the automatic payment program and we want to flow into the bcm and we want to group those payments so with the help of fbpm we will be able to do it and if those merging if you don't require you want to reverse it then we have the reset option also so we can reset it and this can be done with the help of bnk underscore merge underscore reset then each of the batch or payment we have received into the bcm so that we can monitor with the help of this transaction code bnk underscore money 
Then after that, we have the approver list transaction code and approver status. If we need to approve any payment batch, then in that case, we can use this transaction code BNK underscore APP. So these are the some of the important transaction code I have just listed down. So this is the high level understanding we have about the BCM. Now in the next video, we will be doing the configuration. Thank you for watching this video.